eaters, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today I'm going to be doing my first ever chit chat get ready with me. I've done a couple of makeup tutorials in the past, but they've all been like voiceover of what I was doing. And today I just wanted to film a really chill video talking to you guys. I don't really have any plan with this video. This isn't scripted. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about, but I figured that I really wanted to film today. And before I film, I kind of need to get ready. So I might as well film while I'm getting ready and have an additional video. So I really hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below that you would like me to do more of these. I'm not a beauty guru by any means, but this is just my regular makeup routine. And honestly, other than filming, I don't have anything to get ready for today. Like I'm not going out. It's a Sunday. I don't have school tomorrow. I didn't have school today, obviously. So I'm just really bored and this seemed like the best option of my use of time. So without further ado, let's just get on into this video. So I already washed my face. It's like 4 p.m. by the way. Yeah, it's 3.55 and I am just now getting ready. So that's cool. I put on this lotion. It is Clonique, dramatically different. And then I use the Mary Kay primer. I got this from my best friend. And it works really, really well. I actually traded her primers. I had the Too Faced one, I think, and everyone raves about it, but I honestly hated it. It made my skin break out, so this one works a lot better. My face is already primed, and we're just gonna freaking do this thing. I think we're gonna do eyebrows first, because I've learned that my eyebrows are very sparse, so if I fill them in and then I put concealer around them afterwards, they look a lot more full. And everyone tells me this is weird, but this is how I put my hair back when I am doing my makeup. So I don't have to have it like in an actual ponytail or anything. It looks like that. I've been in a really good mood lately, I think because October is right around the corner. I have a lot of fun, spooky videos planned for you guys. I don't know when this will go up, if it's still going to be September or not, but regardless, October is here. It's coming. It's fall. It's lit. This right here is a fine broom. That's what it says. I don't know. Basically, it is a brown eyeliner pencil life hack from Natalia Taylor. She showed me this, and it works really well to fill in your brows. This is kind of hard to do right now because the ring light is absolutely blinding me. If you guys watch me on you now, then you know that my broadcasts are a lot like this. Not that I do makeup on all my streams, but they're more chill, unedited, just raw alley, no makeup, hanging out. I'm taking a full load of classes this semester, but a lot of them are online and the teachers like never really assign homework. So sometimes I honestly get bored. Like I have such a full schedule with school and like with work, but it's on my own time, including the online classes. So... I just like honestly have been chilling watching Netflix lately. Been trying to catch up on Shameless because I love that show and I'm on season seven and I just like never actually got through it. I don't know why. I just took a huge, huge break and I used to watch it religiously. So let me know if you guys have finished everything. Don't give me any spoilers, but I'm just curious. Also, this mirror is really dirty, like it's foggy. And this is probably gonna make it foggier, but this is all I know how to do. This mirror is the kind that zooms in so you can see like every not that you guys can see anything you can see every little imperfection and i honestly like that every little like out of place eyebrow i will tweeze and now i'm gonna take the anastasia brow dip and it's really hard i feel like i kind of need a new one i don't know if it's supposed to be this hard i feel like it's not and i'm taking the pencil that's made for it and i'm just gonna kind of fill in my brows some more outline them i just got back from nocturnal last weekend it was lit I vlogged it. If you guys haven't seen that, then go on my channel and watch it. It was so much fun, and I'm actually going to Florida for Halloween now. I wasn't sure of my plans. I was thinking about going to Escape, which is like a big rave in SoCal again, or going to Boo in SF because the lineup for that is crazy. But I have a couple friends living in Florida that were just visiting out here, and they're going to be moving back to California pretty soon. And so this was like a really good opportunity for me to visit Florida while they still live there. We're going to do a lot of fun Halloween related stuff down there. They also have a nude beach and like high key trying to go. Like that sounds fun. I don't think they have those in California. My makeup may or may not look like a clown. If it does, I'm just going to go with it and act like that was intended for like Halloween. So I guess this is a really good time for me to do makeup tutorials, right? I bought this on Amazon so long ago. It came in like a pack of seven or something and it's just little little eyebrow mascara stuff and it really doesn't have any color left on it but it's more so just to sort of keep them in place get off the random stuff and i'm gonna take this concealer which is just falling out of my hair this concealer is basically done for i already ordered a new one off amazon and it was like 40 bucks and i was really mad at myself for buying it again but it's honestly such a good concealer that if you're gonna spend your money on something expensive when it comes to makeup i recommend this and so i'm just kind of putting it underneath my eyes like see nothing's coming out because it's literally gone and it also has sparkles in it from Nocturnal. Like, it's just done for. <laughs> I'm just kind of putting it over some little problem areas. I'm not even breaking out right now, but from when I was camping in Nocturnal because we did the car camping, I had bed bugs. Not bed bugs, that sounds terrible. No, like, 
bugs that were like near where we were sleeping outside because we were outside and bugs live outside. And so I got bit on my face in a couple of spots and it looks like zits. And I use my fingers to rub it in. I don't even own a beauty blender. I prefer brushes, but I like to rub it in with my fingertips first. October is just the best because you have hay rides, you have pumpkins that you get to carve. Halloween, obviously I love dressing up for that kind of stuff. I love going to Halloween parties. And so for around the eyebrows, I do have this little brush. It looks like this. It's from Kelly Baker Brows. I love them. They have really good eyebrow pencils. And I just kind of brush it in around the eyebrow. I'm actually filming a video with Colin after this where we're going to be reading scary stories and I'm really excited about it. Obviously not with him, like he doesn't live in California or anything. I wish it was with him in person, but we're gonna do a virtual collab. Now I'm gonna take this brush, it's just a regular flat brush from e.l.f. It's like three dollars. And rub it in to my face. We're gonna move on to foundation. This is Lancome. Is that how you say it? Lancome? Lancome. <laughs> not sure. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this part, but it is SPF 15, so I just put a squirt on my finger. I'm actually going to do like another half squirt, because that wasn't even a full squirt. I just like put a little bit. Can you guys hear my neighbors right now? I heard them go, rawr, rawr. I think they're playing with their kid. It's kind of cute. I really want to do some collabs soon with like people I haven't hung out with yet. I feel like there's more YouTubers in the Bay Area than I realized and obviously I don't live in the Bay anymore but like I'm still from there I still have friends I can go stay with there I still visit there frequently like I still consider it sort of like where I live half the time so it would be very easy for me to collab with people down <sighs> I'm just getting my hair everywhere I get comments sometimes saying that I didn't match my foundation to my neck but if you saw like two seconds ago without makeup on my face at all my neck is just lighter like my face is darker I don't know why it's still pale but like a darker shade of pale is my face so sorry. Anyways, this guy reached out to me who lives in the Bay Area who does like paranormal vlogs where he visits abandoned places and they're really dope and he wanted to collab and I'm super excited because I think that's going to end up happening and it's sort of perfect timing because October, right? This stuff I absolutely swear by. I will never use another powder. It's Clinique Transparent and Neutral and you just put it right there. The only thing with this is traveling, it gets everywhere because it doesn't have a place where you can seal it. That's the really annoying part. My big fluffy brush. Just rub it all over my face. Barely anything's coming out, so I think I need to get a new one soon. Now that all the face stuff is sort of done, I mean, this is still face stuff, but we're just gonna like put some color, you know? This is blush. This is Hervana from Benefit. This is the Benefit brush. I just put it like on my little cheeks right there, little rosy cheeks. And then my neck. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I do it because I feel like it makes you look more peachy. I don't even know. I don't know guys. This is what I use for my bronzer. It's Hoola by Benefit. Apparently it's like a really good one. I don't know. I got it years ago. I just sort of blend it into like my hairlines. And then I do it right here. I don't wear a ton of highlighter because it makes me look sweaty. And this is e.l.f. It works really well. It's super pigmented if you can get past the top layer. Like the top layer that's like nothing. But see how I've dug into it? It's very pigmented, at least for me. Very pigmented without looking sweaty. Like stuff actually comes off, you know? And I just put it right there. Like kind of above-ish where the blush was. So I can glow a little bit. One thing I never wear is lip color. Like I just don't. And I feel like I should. The only time I really ever put it on is if I'm going to film. And then I just take it off right afterwards. Because I think I hate eating with it. That's probably why I eat all the time. And I know that it's just going to come off when I eat. Or get all my food and I'm gonna digest it, it's kinda gross. I read a fact a long time ago saying that women consume like X amount of lipstick in their lifetime and I was like, ooh, that's kinda nasty, like I'm good. But I have little white girl lips so I think it like would make me look a lot better if I wore some. I should be doing this last, I'll just do it now though, it's fine. Olivia actually inspired me to film this because she just did a get ready with me where she talked about her lip injections and they look really good. But I'm scared of needles so I can never get them. Plus, honestly, I wouldn't want them. I'm just not as, like, bougie as she is. Like, I've never had fake nails. These are gel, but I've never had acrylics. I've never had a lot of things. Oh, wait, wait, I need to tell you guys about my horror story with the freaking fake eyelashes because I did try that, and I literally ripped them out in less than a week. Don't ever do that if you're like me. If you like those sort of things, do it. If you can't stand having, like, fake things attached to you, don't do it because it drove me nuts. Like, I had a freaking panic attack and ripped them out of my eyes. This, again, is Clinique. I think I just must really like Clinique or something. So, the whole thing that happened with the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow, the eyelashes, the eyelash extensions. 
I went to get my eyebrows tinted because sometimes I'll do that because my eyebrows are so blonde. And the lady there basically talked me into getting it done. And I'd always considered it, but I didn't know much about it. And she was just like, basically, you don't have to wear mascara, blah, blah, blah. And not to be cocky, but my eyelashes are already really long and they're naturally pretty curly. Not like super long, not crazy or anything, but they're not short. I'm not someone who's like, oh, I wish my eyelashes were longer. I don't wear falsies. I don't mess around with any of that just because it's not my thing, like I said. But she got me interested in doing it because I hate putting on makeup. And I was like, oh, well, if I don't have to wear mascara, then what's the difference, right? I didn't realize that you couldn't rub your eyes, you couldn't swim, or if you do swim, they're most likely gonna come out along with your real eyelashes and all that stuff. And of course it's all about being careful, but I don't like to be careful. I like to live in the moment and do my thing and not have to worry about getting them wet and things like that. And I did. And also, things would get stuck in them. Like if I was using a Q-tip for my eyeshadow or something to wipe something off, little fluffy hairs would get stuck in my fake eyelashes. And I just wasn't about it. And it literally got to the point where I took eyebrow scissors and I literally went in this mirror and I cut them out of my eyelashes because I could not stand it and they weren't coming off. I also took olive oil and I rubbed them off. It was just bad. My eyes were red constantly. I think I was allergic to them. So yeah, that was my experience with them. I do not recommend at all, but if you are someone who does like all that kind of stuff, like fake tanning, all that, then totally do that. I'm not against doing it. It's just for me personally, I get like OCD about stuff like that. Like if I had a fake tan, I would like rub it off. Like if it touched my sheets, my sheets aren't white because I don't know if you guys can see they're tan, they're blue. I talked about this in my school advice video if you're in the dorms and all that. If you get sheets that aren't white, they don't look as dirty as quick. But anyways, if I had white sheets and I had a fake tan, I would freak out if it got on the sheets and things like that. So I just, I can't do like fake artificial things to myself. I just can't do it. Point is, that was my traumatic experience with fake eyelashes. And I wish I could wear them like I genuinely do because they look so good on other people. And I wish I was one of those people, but they just didn't look right on me. Uh, which eyeshadow palette are we gonna use today? I don't know. I also have this stick, honestly, which I should probably use because it's basically gone. It's Clinique, again, are you really surprised? Um, it's like a little stub at this point. Let's just use it right now. Definitely let me know if you guys want more videos like this where I'm just chill and talking to y'all because these are actually pretty fun. It's nice to like not have a plan going into a video sometimes, you know, just depending on my mood. So, ooh, I like that a lot, <laughs> even though it's clearly not blended. I'm gonna take this brush. I'm gonna just whoop. And just so you haters know, if you wanna talk shit about my makeup or my makeup skills, applying it, whatever, go ahead because you'll just be in future hate comment videos because I'm gonna make one really soon. Now I'm just taking like a white color, it's temp tempera, and I'm using the same brush. And I'm just kinda of putting it around so it makes it look like I blended it more, even though I don't think I did. I saw this thing on Twitter where Rihanna was saying that if you put on lipstick, it's like a life hack because guys think that you have a full face of makeup. It's kind of true. I feel like my makeup's done even though I didn't even wear mascara yet. I'm seeing it this weekend. So excited. All my friends have already seen it. So I'm finally seeing it. I'm going to be on their level. I'm going to be woke AF when it comes to this scary movie. I love scary movies, especially during this time of year. So should we add more eyeshadow? I think it, it'll honestly just mess it up at this point. Let's just be simple. Okay, let's just do that. This is the Master Precise. Maybelline, I just got it, and I like it. Because I like doing little wings. Even though sometimes my little wings turn into big wings if I mess up because I just try to make them more even, they get super thick and I literally hate that. So as you can see, I just start from the corner and then I fill it in, and I'm gonna try this side now. Is that even? I don't know. I went bowling the other night for the first time in probably years. It was a lot of fun. I'm really bad at it, <laughs> but it was fun. And I'm gonna put a little bit right here. But just the corner, I don't go all the way to the front because then I get like black little eye boogers. So, because I don't wear falsies or have eyelash extensions, I like to put primer on so the mascara stays on longer. It's crazy that I'm almost done with school. Not college entirely, but I'll have my associates in like two months and then I'll be at Chico State and I'll have my bachelor's in like two years. I am a communications major, by the way. I feel like I've said that a million times, but I still get questions about it. And it's a pretty basic question that I feel like people want to know when you say you're in school. So I am a communications major and I may or may not minor in broadcasting or public speaking or something of the sort. I don't know what it's really called at Chico. I've looked into it a little bit because I don't know what I want to do exactly. I want to continue social media as long as I can and as long as that's realistic for me. But of course, you know, I will probably do other things in my lifetime and I want to pursue other things. I'm definitely an entrepreneur. I want to own my own business. Whatever it is that I'm doing, I really want to help people, work with people, and it to be something involving public speaking and 
I don't know. I just, if I could combine all those different things, that would be my absolute dream job. And that's what I'm doing now with YouTube. In my opinion, that's what I feel like I'm able to do. But on a long term scale outside of YouTube, I always get questions like, what if YouTube doesn't work out? What if you don't do YouTube forever? I want to be doing something like this that's not YouTube then. What's funny to me is that public speaking and death are like the two number one fears. I'm not scared of either. I'm not afraid to die. Not in like an emo way, but I'm just not. I think that when my time comes, it's going to come. And I'm not afraid of public speaking. I actually love it. Like I look forward to it. It excites me. So I think that's a couple interesting facts about me that maybe you guys didn't know. <laughs> or maybe you could tell. Maybe that was kind of obvious. I don't put mascara on the bottom really because my eyelashes on the bottom are honestly almost as long as the top one. Not almost, but like they're pretty long where I look like a doll and it just makes me look more tired. I look weird. So I just like dab it at the bottom right there, but that's it. Sort of like the eyeliner. And now honestly, like my makeup's pretty much done. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. Comment below letting me know if you guys want to see more like this. Subscribe if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. That way you are notified whenever I upload new videos. Follow my social medias. I also have a Patreon if you guys want to check that out for future videos, extra videos, exclusive photo shoots, private Snapchat, etc. That will be linked below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, all getters.